Correspondent Bjorn Stridzel, who visited Ukrainian positions near the city of Taretsk, says the Ukraine has recently introduced the use of massive 2S7 Pion self-propelled artillery system into its armed forces, according to BUILD. Taretsk, a Ukrainian stronghold since Russia's first invasion of Donbass in 2014, is a strategically important settlement. Control of the city would give Russian forces a foothold to advance further into Ukrainian-held territory in Donetsk Oblast, a key objective in their military campaign. A 2S7 Pion self-propelled artillery system weighs 60 tons and has a 12-meter barrel. This is the heaviest operational cannon in the world. It was developed by the USSR in the 1960s for destroying concrete fortifications of the enemy. The Pion requires 203mm caliber projectiles, each weighing 100 kilograms. The publication notes that by spring 2022, the Ukrainian forces had quickly depleted their Soviet-supplied ammunition stockpiles, which led to the withdrawal of these self-propelled artillery systems from the front line. Recently, the US provided the necessary projectiles. The US had produced them in the 1950s and 60s for their M110 and M115 howitzers. The 2S7 Pion main armament consists of a 2A44 203mm cannon. The 203mm barrel has an overall length of 56.5 calibers and weighs a total of 7,800 kilograms and has a barrel life of about 450 rounds. When traveling, the 203mm cannon is held in position by a manually operated travel lock mounted on top of the cab. Gun elevation, traverse, loading and operation of the spade are all hydraulic with manual controls for emergency use. Mounted at the very rear of the tracked chassis is a large recoil spade that, when lowered to the ground, provides stability during firing. The gun operator is seated at the rear of the vehicle on the left side and for the engagement of targets has a standard PG-1M panoramic day telescope that is used in conjunction with the K-1 collimator. Ammunition is of the separate loading type, projectile and charge with a maximum muzzle velocity of 960M stroke S. The maximum range using unassisted ammunition is 37.5 kilometers. The standard 203 mm HE round is designated ZOF 43 and weighs 110 kilograms with a total of four projectiles and charges being carried on the 2S7 for immediate use. The remainder of the ammunition load is carried by another vehicle, usually a truck. In addition, there is a rocket-assisted high-explosive projectile that weighs 103 kilograms and has a maximum range of 47,000 M. The 2S7 is also able to fire chemical and nuclear shells. On the Tourette's front, Ukrainian artillery personnel fire the Pion even before receiving the order to shoot. The Pion must reach its operating temperature, explained Ukrainian officer Rostislav. Once the order is given, the artillery units quickly emerge from their shelter and position the Pion on the firing point. The retractable spade is deployed, pressing into the ground to absorb the powerful recoil. When the pion fires, the earth around shakes, Stritzel noted. Israeli airstrikes on Thursday hit sites in Beirut's southern suburbs, setting explosions between buildings in the area known as Dahia. Israel said it was targeting Hezbollah facilities and interests after issuing evacuation warnings prior to the airstrikes. There were no immediate reports of casualties. On Wednesday, an Israeli airstrike on an apartment building in the town of Aramaun, just south of Beirut, killed at least six people and wounded 15 others, Lebanon's health ministry said. The state-run national news agency reported that there were children missing after the strike and it wasn't clear if they are under the rubble or were transferred to a hospital. There was no warning issued before the strike, and it was not clear what the target was. There was no immediate statement from the Israeli military. Israel has also been striking deeper inside Lebanon since September as it escalates the war against Hezbollah. Israel forces invaded South Lebanon on October 1, causing widespread destruction in border villages but making little advances on the ground inside the country. Israeli forces and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah have been clashing since October 8, 2023, 
when Hezbollah began launching rockets across the border in support of its ally, Hamas, in Gaza. The conflict escalated beginning in mid-September. Israel has launched a widespread aerial bombardment of Lebanon and a ground invasion that it said is intended to push Hezbollah back from the border.